Hello my name is Naya Roy and I will take you to the tour of HubSpot integration with Odoo today. So let's start with Odoo and HubSpot login. Here I have logged in already and I will showcase you how to do the integration part. So after the installation of our module, in setting you can see a few options comes under the general settings which is called HubSpot integration, here you have to put the HubSpot app hit and HubSpot name for which you are doing the integration part. How to get the HubSpot API key? You just have to go to integration and you can see the HubSpot API key, so if I want to see the key so I just have to click on show key. What you need to do is to copy and to paste it here in HubSpot API ID and for which database you are doing the integration. Because it could be possible company may have multiple databases. So first we will try to create one customer here into the Odoo system and see how it is getting synced with HubSpot app. Customers, create, I say Roger. It is the basic feature of Odoo. So I am just feeding the data other details like website and all if this individual have and save it. As soon as I save this data here in Odoo system, I have put an automatic scheduler which runs after every minute and the data gets synced between the Odoo and HubSpot. I have not feed the data other like the position which the person carries phone number, the fax details, email ID, title. That's it. So if I go into the HubSpot and try to see the contact, you can get the detail here in the HubSpot. Can you see Roger? This is what cinched here, just a minute back. If you look at system time, you can see the time when the data has been synced. I had fed the data of email address which has come up here and the other stuff. So this is how data gets synced between Odoo and HubSpot. Similarly, HubSpot takes the data directly through the different search engines like Google. So if I fed the data of my company domain details and I am not filling up the other details here into the system and I save this and try to check the data if it is synced here into the HubSpot or not, I just have to go to contacts, companies and I can see pragmatic details have come up here in the system. As soon as I come here I can see the other information has been already saved like industry type, phone number, where this company located. It is located in Pune, with number of employees, revenue, other details as well, description and all. So if I go back to Odoo and try to search Pragmatic the other information which I had not fed in the system is already here as it's a two-way integration. So as soon as the HubSpot updated the data over there in the system, it automatically synced the data in Odoo and it will reflect here. There is no duplicate work which you have to repeat. 
It's very easy to use so this is how company and the customers can be created into the Odoo system and can be synced to HubSpot and the other way around. How to create leads into the system if you are creating it any contact in the HubSpot and makes it status as lead, it will automatically update into the Odoo. Delete Roger portion. Start with we will create new contact. We will create new contact which is not there into the system and see how it is getting synced in Odoo under leads.email address as. I say no owner, job title, director of the company, I say create contact, as soon as I create contact, I can see lifecycle stage S leads so if I come back to Odoo and go to sales leads, as I said it will sync in a minute so I just have to wait next cycle to be run or at the same time what you can do, you just have to go to settings, you are in hurry and want to sync the data. You need to go to automation scheduled action, say run manually, it's done. If I go back to sales try to see the leads and see if the data has come here or not, I can see ok one lead has been created from HubSpot which has come as Varsha Bande, her email lead and all the detail gets saved. So this is what all we do, we not only sync the data, we update the data from Odoo to HubSpot and HubSpot to Odoo.